Okay, we're packed up and ready to hit the road after attending the show. Everything electric show, there's the dome that we were in and everything, the test drives that we did around there, around the streets of the Sydney Olympic Park. And there's the hotel room, nice to have a bit of luxury. Hit the road, go to Bendigo. Not sure how much filming we'll do on the way because we did the trip on the way down, so, or across. So back, not sure how much we'll do. In the Polestar, checking out the room. Did we leave anything here? All looks good, nice and tidy. Nothing left, we'll do another check of the room and then Polestar's all packed up and we'll hit the road. All right, we're hitting the road after charging up to 90 in the basement of the lobby. Unplug. Tick, tick, tick. Blue light. Put her up nicely. There we go. Close it up, we're at 90%. Ready to hit the road, we'll go and check out now. And uh, hit the road. All right, we decided to stop here quickly. Get the top up before we get to Yas. Get a snack, uh, mainly the reason, clean the windscreen. And we're charging to Back up to 90, even though we only got here with 74 because we charged overnight at the hotel room. It's just after 9 o'clock, so 89. Just a real quick stop, top up, and it's cheaper than the Tesla. So, yeah, got a donut for breakfast, being a bit naughty. I don't actually know how much M charge is cheaper than, than Tesla. But just decided to top up always be charging that's the way a lot quieter getting out of sydney this morning no traffic at eight o'clock on a sunday morning so we've got another hour or two to yas and then make it to albury and do the two tesla charges there have breakfast on the road see how we go getting to oh yeah we've got the green light Green light, so we can, oh no, not green light, 89. Still getting 34 kilowatts. We're almost done. All right, we'll um, probably see you at Yas then. Very good. to yes we're almost finished charging we arrived with 50 percent we're just going to go to 85 percent even though it's saying eight percent on the uh on the old thing i um we'll definitely make it so i'll just do it to 85 percent um had a nice chat to a couple in a volvo volvo xc40 i saw them at uh, pheasant's nest and now they're here they're also going to albury so it's funny how you uh, all kind of go together and see each other on the way. So um, that was nice. Had a chat to them. They're originally from Canada. Talking, they went to the EV show as well. They were talking about um, Pole Stars and the Pole Star CEO and watching some of the presentations. And I just got the um, GME radio working. My friend Nirav gave me this to review. So I'm going to take it back to Kangaroo Island. Uh, GME. Uh, CB UHF radio, so I'll write it up and test it. I've got it scanning now And we'll see if we pick up any truckers or caravanners on the way um, So that'll be that'll be nice to do and I guess it's mine to keep after I review it. So that's going to be very handy when I go um, remote remote EVing or remote road tripping in the EV. All right, so we've hit 85% um, 
so I'll probably oh it's at nine but well I mean that's the thing it's saying nine so 279 kilometers we've got a range of 460 so let's just stop it hey I mean may as well charge so take it back down to 80 done so unlock cable we'll unlock the cable oh, yeah. Caravan is there. So yeah, all the all the stations are available. No one else was here other than that XC40 couple. Give it the pull out. Chuck her back in. Do the old uh, do her up there. It's a horrible ice Ford vehicle there. Listen to that noise. That so inefficient. There's the Polestar collecting bugs. I should probably take it to a car wash. Look, even the, even the logo's been defaced by a buggage. Hectic buggage. So yeah, let's keep going. See where we go. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Let's keep going. All right, we're at the Albury Supercharger V4 version 4 and we got a brief 161 kilowatt flash up at 30 something and look at it, it's ramping up 242 already. So better again use the bathroom before we have to come back. Oh, we've got half an hour roughly. So yeah, or less. Have a mini, 20 minutes. Cool bananas, cool bananas, cool bananas. All right, we went to the bathroom and now we're back and it's at 78% already. Um, now, this is the first time I'm not really gonna listen to the Google because it's only saying 3%, which normally I would not be comfortable with, 285 kilometers. And it's saying the range is 430. So I'm not sure why it's so much less in the Googles because it always jumps up to at least 20 percent so we're going to suck it and see risk the biscuit we're going to leave it 80 charging charge at 80 so it'll stop here in one percent and we'll get 400 and some well it says 430 but um we're still getting 45 kilowatts and um yeah i mean i could go to 85 just to give myself that buffer but then i end up there with like 30 percent or something like that so I might as well just go to 80. I mean, I mean, it's tempting just to do 75 and ignore the ignore the thing and saying saying 4%. So, but that's not the case because why it says 285 kilometers is the distance, three hours and five minutes. So we should make it there. Uh, done. Ching ching. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So now we go to charge. Unlock cable. Done. Car's cranking. I can feel the heat coming out of the poor little pop star. I can feel the battery cooling doing its job. Unlock cable so it should come straight out. There we go. Beautiful V4 cable. I'm in charges. Thank you, Tesla. Thank you, Mr. Musk. There we go. There was a Model S, and there's two Model Ys. I can't tell the difference between Model Ys and Model 3s. They all look the same to me. Plug her back in. Everything's good. More hectic baggage. Picked up some more baggage. She's flying along. We do, we check the key, wallet, phone, we've got the phone on charging, and wallet, yes we do, we've got to water out the esky, put the new GME back on, I did hear some taxi drivers having a chat, so that was cool, that was the first time I actually heard someone talking about picking up passengers and stuff, so I'm assuming they're taxi drivers it's 31 degrees it's interesting that 
that's what it was outside so it hasn't gone up i think it's the sun effects the, i don't know if that's true or not the sun effects the charging anyway we better going otherwise what's the point we could have been kept charging but it's also the dollars you know if i gone to 85 that would have been an extra five or ten kilowatts hours so that would have cost whatever and we'll we'll review this i'm not uh, threading on the way this time i'm just charging and going and we'll thread in the motel room when we get there at about six o'clock tonight so very good happy days happy days let's go Okay, we arrived at Bendigo at the Central Debra Hotel. Deja vu, same room, same parking spot. Actually, no, we're over one side over the parking spot and we arrived with 23%. Have a look at this. So, 23%. We'll um, put the charge on, maybe take it to into the pin and so yeah it was a good drive actually it was a bit nerve-wracking because Google only said that we would get here with six percent I think initially and then it was like you're not gonna make it and then so I was panicking and I even pulled into the BP at um, where was it south, south of Wangaratta and was all ready to charge and then I just checked once more and it said that I'd get there with Oh, I think it was like 11 or something like that. So I said, oh, 12, 11 or 12. So I was, oh, that's perfect. So, and then it went back up to, um, went as it does, went up to 23 because you go slower and 
all right, always just um, very conservative estimates. So uh, it's supposed to be super hot. It's super hot now, 33 degrees. It's supposed to be 36 tomorrow, last time I looked. So uh, I don't like the car sitting at in hot temperatures. Um, so that's interesting. The charge minimum is 40. So um, yeah, we'll do that. Just let it sit on 40. Um, and then I might even leave it at no oh, anyway either 40 or 23 and then I'll charge it up to 90 on the last night um, the last bit and um, gonna go and take a shower and then walk down the main street and find dinner and maybe have an ice cream if it's still open because uh, it is just so hot but yeah other, other than that was fault, faultless drive everything went really well um, yeah, can't complain. And now we have to put the paper out tomorrow. So we'll work on the paper tomorrow, get it mostly done. And then she said that I could check out at 11, but hopefully I can get it done by 10 and then make it the rest of the way or most of the way. I'm only on the ferry. So tomorrow's Monday, work on the paper Monday, leave Tuesday morning uh, about 10 or 11 I don't know how far I'll get basically into South Australia maybe Murray Bridge if I go far enough um, and then I'm on the ferry on Wednesday afternoon so uh, I'm not sure if I can get on any earlier than that given the restrictions on EVs on the ferries which again is ridiculous and annoying so um, but yeah I've got focus on the paper tomorrow and then when I get back I'll start or maybe even tomorrow maybe the night after Tuesday night whichever hotel I'm staying at halfway I'll start writing on my report about the um, everything electric show because I want to get that off uh, get it done send it off to Nirav and get it ready for the paper and then I still have to do the Port Lincoln trip I said I'd do that for the paper as well so yes tiring exhausted 10 hour drive I left Sydney 7 or oh, 7.30, 7.45, and now it's got here just at 6, it's already 6.26, so I better hop in the shower and go and find dinner before around about 7, because things will close, it's given it Sunday. So that'll be my report for now, but yeah, thanks for watching, and another epic road trip. Oh, what did we do? I was going to get photos of the, of the uh, trip. So we today we did 821 kilometers uh efficiency was 16 point flat on 16 so wow that's pretty impressive um because i was trying to milk it to get here with a 20 and end up getting here with 23 so uh eight hours and 49 minutes behind the wheel and the average of 96 kilometers of speed and the odometer is now ticked over 13,000 to 13,200 and 58 and we've got another 800 odd k's to go to get home so we'll be right on 14,000 when we get home and yes good stuff get an EV go on a road trip you'll have a great time nothing to worry about all right I've decided to plug it in anyway mainly for the photo and then I'll get it up to I think ideally it sits on 30 for hot day so I'll get it up to 30 from 23 and then switch it off when I get out of the shower here in a few minutes and then do the rest of the charging at night. But yeah, it's great to have the Tesla charger. So that saves me, um, well, that's about $40, $50. So yeah, at a fast charger. So that's well worth it. Well worth finding a hotel that has a charger. Very.